Hey, what is going on guys? Digital Millionaire here. So bringing you a very, very quick video today. Okay, I've been having a few of you asking me questions. What is the best web hosting for 2019? Okay, you've probably seen my videos about how to make a website, how to make a blog, all of that good stuff. And you, you're looking to get some web hosting. Well, I'm gonna be comparing my two favorite ones in this video, okay? That is A2 Hosting and SiteGround. These are my two absolute favorite web hosting platforms. I would highly recommend them both. But uh, watch this video first, see which one is gonna suit your needs, okay? I'm gonna be giving you uh, the pros and cons of both of them and letting you know which one I prefer for what reasons, all right? So stick around for this uh, if you're looking for some web hosting. So uh, first things first, let's talk about the speeds, okay? Speeds, I'm gonna give this one to A2 Hosting. A2 Hosting has the best speeds that I've come across by far, okay? In the two years, like two or two and a half years I've been using A2 Hosting, the speeds have been like like impeccable. Not, nothing's come even close to it, okay? Well, obviously it's only a few seconds different usually, but you know, that's that matters, okay? Especially when it's ranking on Google and stuff like that. The speeds matter. Google likes these fast loading websites. So A2 hosting is the one to go for if you're looking to get your you know, your, your website ranked on Google. Uh, Google's algorithm is gonna pick up that your website's very, very fast. It's gonna help bump you up in the rankings right there, okay? And also, people like fast websites. You know, your, your visitors, they're gonna want a fast website, all right? So if you're looking for speed, A2 hosting is the place to go. SiteGround, you're not gonna have any problems with speed whatsoever, okay? Like, trust me, it's still very, very fast. But uh, it is beat by A2 hosting, just by, uh, just by a little bit, okay? Uh, but the only downside to that is, guys, so it says right here, yeah, the shared hosting right here starts at $3.92 per month. But if we go into the compare the plans, you'll see right here that uh, the turbo package, this is their turbo speeds up to 20 times faster. You're gonna need that, okay? To get those best speeds, you absolutely need this three, uh, this $9.31 turbo package right here, okay? These ones, the light and swift package, you're not gonna get anywhere near those speeds, okay? They don't have these turbo speeds. You can see it right here, okay? So that is one uh, downside. You will have to pay that uh, increased price of $9.31. But in my opinion, for me personally, it's definitely worth it. I pay for that because for me, it is totally worth it. Uh, those, those speeds really matter to me. If they don't, if they don't matter to you, you can purchase one of these cheaper packages or you can go with SiteGround. All right, let's talk about uptime next. Okay, this is a very, very important factor as well when it comes to choosing web hosting. So both of these, they are they are even. It's a tie on this one, okay? A2 Hosting and SiteGround, they both they both guarantee 99.9% .9 uptime, okay? Obviously, there's some, some actual uh, web hosts they actually guarantee 100%, but that's risky, okay? Because if they do, if they are down for like even five minutes, you know, they could get in trouble for that. So having 99.99% is uh, is in their best interest, okay? But honestly, I've never had any problems. Maybe a couple of downtimes for only a few minutes now and again, but it hasn't caused me any problems with both, either of these, okay? I've been using both of these for the same amount of time, about two and a half years. I've never had any problems with both of them when it comes to uptime. Hasn't caused me any troubles whatsoever. And let's talk about their support, okay? So both of these have some of the best support that I've actually come across, okay? It's like uh, nothing else compares. All the other web hosting platforms I've tried, uh, all the servers I've tried, nothing is compared to these two uh, custom support, okay? It's really, really, really good. They've got a chat right here. You can, I can just click this button and I'd be chatting with someone within a, you know, within a minute or two, depending on the time of the day, how busy the day is, but usually I'm not waiting lo any longer than a few minutes and I'm actually talking to someone and they're giving me real answers, okay? That is with A2 hosting. And pretty much the same thing uh, when it comes to SiteGround, okay? Pretty much the exact same thing. They have a chat thing where you can just talk to people and get your, get the answers you need straight away. So if you're struggling with something, you need some help, really, really easy, just talk to them, okay? You can see right here, start a sales chat, and uh, you can log in if, you, if, if I'm not logged into my account right now, but I'd also have a chat option to, uh, to get some support on there as well. So both of these, again, it's a tie. The, the, the custom support is... So one downfall that A2 Hosting has for them, okay, is that WordPress do not actually recommend them themselves, all right? So as you can see here, Bluehost, Dreamhost, and SiteGround, they are on WordPress actual website. They are the recommended web hosting services recommended by WordPress themselves. Okay, so if, you, if you're looking to start a blog or a website using WordPress, then you might be looking to start it on SiteGround, okay? You're not gonna have any problems whatsoever with A2 Hosting, trust me. If you're using A2 Hosting with WordPress, you're not gonna have any problems, okay? I I've, I never have, I use WordPress myself, but uh, it's up to you because, because WordPress actually recommends SiteGround themselves, 
it is a little bit uh, easier, it's a little bit more manageable, but uh, that's entirely up to you. If you're a beginner, then maybe yes, go with SiteGround. If, you, if, you, if this is your first ever website, you're looking to make it on WordPress, then yes, maybe go with SiteGround because it will probably be easier. Um, it is a one-click install, okay, literally just boom, one click, and WordPress is installed and your website is ready to go pretty much, okay? I've got videos on the channel about that if you wanna see how easy it actually is, okay? Uh, but yeah, uh, that's the winner for SiteGround because uh, WordPress actually recommends it themselves. So for beginners looking to start a WordPress website, SiteGround is the winner here. And finally, guys, let's just talk about the price, okay? So the price doesn't really differ with any web hosting platforms, okay? They're all very, very similar because they're all competing with each other. So if one has, you know, if one's $10 and one's $3, but they both give you the same things, then obviously everyone's gonna choose the $3 one, okay? So they're very, very competitive. That's why I'm saving this to last the pricing because there's not much difference in it at all, okay? So if we click on this, let's just choose the reliable web hosting one right here. Click Get Started. And let's go to A2 Hosting as well. You can see this one again, all right? So they're starting at $3.92. Next one, $4.90. Next one, $9.31. But this is for the first term only, okay? Remember that, guys, all right? These are for first terms only. So if you purchase a one-year plan, this $3.92, that will only be for one year. After that, it's gonna bump up to $7.99. If you purchase a three-year plan, you're gonna get that $3.92 for three years, okay? So it's in your best interest to purchase the the, 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 the most plan, the, the longest plan that you can, okay? To get the cheapest price for as long as you can, all right? Uh, but yeah, this one, the $9.31, that'll bump up to $19.00 per month, all right? But you are getting those super turbo fast speeds, okay? So it's definitely, definitely worth it in my opinion. Uh, this one, SiteGround, not good. Not looking good right now because it's really taking a while to load. Might just be my internet. Okay, so here we go, guys. So the starter package, $3.95 per month, all right? Bumping up to $12 per month, though, okay? So that's what you gotta look at right there. This one's $3.92 per month, but only bumps up to $8 a month. This one bumps up to 12, okay? So this one, compare the plans, okay? This one you get one website, 10 gigabyte of web space. Uh, this one you get one website, uh, unlimited storage, okay? So again, looks like A2 Hosting is winning on this one right here. Let's take a look at the higher packages, $9.31 bumps up to uh, $19, and then SiteGround bumps up to $35 a month. And it's still limited web space, okay? 30 gigabytes, um, but uh, yeah, so Again, compare them guys if you want to. This one you get the super fast speeds and you get unlimited storage. So looks like for pricing and the plans in general, A2 hosting is the winner here as well. All right then guys, that is my A2 hosting and uh, SiteGround comparison. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something. If you did, uh, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with anyone who's gonna be interested in this video. I'll have links to both of these in the description down below, okay? So make sure you go to the description so you can get these cheaper prices, okay? Any discounts that I have for you will be in the description, so go there right now. It'll be automatically applied when you click those links, all right? So I'll have links to both of these, like I said. Choose whichever one you want, okay? Um, A2 hosting, the better speeds, um, cheaper prices, to be honest, and better plans, but SiteGround is um, it's a little bit cheaper for the first term, but then afterwards it goes up in price, but this is actually recommended by WordPress himself. So it depends on you, depends what you like, depends what you need. Yep, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.